So here we are looking at PPHM, done this one a few times and wanted to get it back updated as there's still uh, plenty of people interested and asking questions on it. Uh, first things first, if you're in this for the overall chart, uh, then there's nothing to, to freak out or panic about. The chart is still you know, in an overall uptrend and what allows me or justifies me to say that, well, if we look here at this purple line here, that's a 50 day cent moving average, you can see still has a clear uptrend to it. And then if we look at the 200 day cent moving average down here, you can see that that even has an upward slope to it. So the overall trend is still up now, uh, short term, medium term. Um, it's you know gone into a consolidation phase. You can see here that this blue line, which is the 10 day cent moving average, our short term indicator uh, is now going sideways. So the short term trend is now neutral, um, but even the medium or uh, slightly uh, shorter term trend, given on what your strategy is, uh, the 20 day cent moving average still has an upward slope to it so it, that's even still bullish but uh, short term uh, yes is neutral right now but you know given the history of the chart and the multiple uh, pullback it's pullbacks it's gone through uh, you know i don't really see anything to you know you know panic about or anything like that now if you're a day trader or you know extremely short term swing trader and you, you you bought up here or there or something like that then yeah you should probably be out of this but for the longer term people the chart is uh you know still hanging in there and still looking fine so what i want to do is just uh, map out a few support and resistance areas that way everybody has an idea of what to be looking for uh the ideal level of support that you want to see continue to hold now that the price is back above it uh i already pointed out is uh, this gray line here you can see that when the price did fall below it uh, you know, took a pretty big hit, but now that the price got back up above it yesterday, today you can see drop back down and bounced right off of it. So a great example of what it has hopefully turned back into a support and uh, going forward, uh, hopefully that remains the same. Uh, but if it doesn't, uh, another level of support that's uh, sticking out uh, to me uh, is right down here um, at this level. Uh, we'll call it uh, 223. You can see here acted as support. Actually, let me change that to green real quick. Uh, to represent support, uh, but acted as support there, and then a couple of times here um, before you know. Once again, when it did fall below it, that's where the price kind of took a hit. Uh, so these are, those are going to be the two key levels of support. But then in the overall picture, as long as the price remains above the 50-day cent moving average, which is that purple line, uh, then things will technically remain bullish since that is the longer-term moving average. In terms of resistance levels. Uh, the area that's sticking out to me is going to be right around here. This isn't an exact price, just kind of trying to split the difference. Uh, but we'll call it up here at 265. Uh, with a strong volume break of that, I would not be surprised at all to see the price then come up here and revisit these highs above $3. Uh, but one, at, one step at a time, let's first see how it reacts, uh, if it can get up there and give this 265, 270, that range, a, a test. And then, you know, given on how the price reacts around there, that'll be a good indicator of just what sort of strength uh, this current upwards move does have. So if there are any other questions on the chart, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook. And with your newsletter subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards on a penny stock. So there's a good variety of something for everybody. It is all free, so I'd encourage you to go to the website, sign up, and see what it's all about. Also, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about the chart and what your strategy is going forward. One more time, this was PPHM. Thanks for listening.